Hello everyone! As always, we've collected for you all the most breaking news of the day, and we can't wait to tell you about everything. Subscribe to the most informative football channel on YouTube. We are sure you won't find anything like that anywhere else. And of course, don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Just do it right now. It'll take just a few seconds, but will mean a lot to us. Let us know in the comments below who do you think is the best coach in the world at the moment. And make sure to drop thumbs up. We work for you every day and appreciate your support. All right, let's finally start the show. Let's go! Chelsea still wants to get Jules Koundé in January. The transfer fee is estimated at 80 million euros. Napoli leader Lorenzo Insigne will ask the club's president Aurelio De Laurentiis to provide guarantees for investment and ambition, not just a higher salary, in case he agrees to sign a new contract. Xavi is a perfect match for Barcelona, there is no doubt about that. I wish him all the best and hope he will do well, Iniesta said. Paris Saint-Germain wants to sign Karim Benzema, according to Fichajes. Brass midfielder Romain Favre might change the club in the near future, as Milan are interested in the Frenchman. Bayern Munich centre-back Nicolas Zule tested positive for coronavirus, as reported by Bild. Verona striker Giovanni Simeone was deemed the best player in Serie A in October. Last month, the 26-year-old Argentinian scored seven goals in five games for the Yellow Blues. PSG defender Sergio Ramos has returned to group training with the first team. He is expected to make a PSG debut at the end of November. Cristiano Ronaldo may leave Manchester United at the end of the season if the team won't qualify for the next season's Champions League. Rodri's 82 passes per game became the best result among any other player in European's top 5 leagues this season. Barca can fight for any trophy. When Zidane arrived, we were 12 points behind them, and we eventually won La Liga that season, Daniel Carvajal admitted. The Ballon d'Or is a great award, but I don't think about it that much anymore. I'm focused on other things, Lewandowski claimed. Steven Gerrard will take on Aston Villa by this Friday. He will become the highest-paid coach in the club's history. Antonio Conte spoke about his salary of about 18 million euros at Tottenham. I work at the top level, so everything's fair, Antonio said. Frank Yossia demands a 9 million euros per year salary at Milan. The club is willing to give 6.5 million, including bonuses. The player can leave as a free agent next summer. Dembélé's new contract with Barca will imply a variable salary depending on the number of matches played. Solskjaer is supported by most of Manchester United's bosses. Currently, they don't negotiate with other coaches. World Cup every two years? Young people support the idea, and those who are over 50 oppose that. Rejection is based on emotions, Arsene Wenger said. Barca should already think about how to get Messi back in 2023. He deserved a decent goodbye, Victor Font admitted. In case Barca won't make it to the top four in La Liga this season, the club will get a penalty from some of their sponsors. Juventus could sign Martial, Lacazette, Icardi or Nunez if they fail to sign Vlahovic. Messi, Lewandowski and De Bruyne are the top three players in Football Manager 22. Ronaldo is only seventh. Marcus Rashford has officially become a knight commander of the British Empire. Prince William awarded the Manchester United player. Chelsea is willing to return Saul to Atletico Madrid in the winter, but there is no such clause in the loan agreement. Juventus won't be able to sign Vlahovic in January. The old lady doesn't have 60-80 million euros required for the transfer. Ed Woodward can take on an advisory role at Manchester United. Pogba might miss 8-10 weeks due to a hip injury. Barca midfielder Felipe Coutinho denied that he refused to come on as a substitute in the match against Celta. Risk of injuries? After 30, the pain doesn't disappear. A physiotherapist watches over me 24 hours a day, Zlatan Ibrahimovic said. Inter Milan wants to finalize the deal with Onana in December. Ajax goalkeeper will join Inter at the end of the season as a free agent. Messi is fully recovered and ready to play with Uruguay and Brazil. He is training with the Argentina national team. Solskjaer can leave Manchester United with his head held high. That's a great time to pass the baton, Rio Ferdinand said. Bayern are discussing the sponsorship contract extension with Qatar Airways for five more years in the amount of 85 million euros, although their fans demand from the club to end this cooperation. 
Real Madrid are going to renew the contracts with their key players, Perlon Mendy, Eder Militao and Vinicius. Benfica intends to sign MTT on loan in January until the end of the season. And now we move on to the main news of the episode. Let's go! Xavi, who recently became a new head coach of Barcelona, had his first training session with the team. The 41-year-old Catalan has started preparing Barca players for the La Liga match against Espanyol on November 20. The training session was attended by all healthy players and those who didn't leave for their national teams. The training ground was also visited by Blaugrana president Joan Laporta, vice president Rafa Juste, football director Matteo Alemani, international sector director Jordi Cruyff, and technical secretary Ramon Planes. All of them arrived to see and welcome the new coach at the work. New Barcelona head coach Xavi for the first time talked to the team's players in person. Before the training session started, the 41-year-old Spaniard gave a speech in which he referred to a recent 3-3 draw game against Celta. You are capable of more. After a 3-0 up in the first half, you have no right to let your opponents draw the game. It's impossible, Xavi said, addressing the players. The coach replacement is due to the fact that the team was not doing well, and it felt like the players didn't express positive emotions during this period. We are able to fight for all trophies, but we have to give our best for this we still have chances for the La Liga title. This is what Laporta said. The first personnel changes took place after Chávez's appointment as head coach at Barcelona. The Spaniard turned down the services of Juan Jobrao, who was a chief psychotherapist for the Barcelona main team, and Albert Roque, who worked as a fitness coach. Their places will be taken by Ivan Torres and Carlos Nogueira, who worked with Xavi at El Sat, according to us. New Barcelona head coach Xavi has tightened the requirements for the training process in the first team, according to us. As the source reports, now the players need to arrive at the club training ground at least an hour and a half before the start of training. This is necessary so that the players have time to have breakfast and prepare for the session. They are required to have lunch and dinner at the base only, adhering to the recommendations of a nutritionist. Xavi believes that the right diet will help the players avoid unnecessary injuries. In addition, he established a system of monetary penalties, and with every new misconduct, the penalty will grow exponentially. Barca players will not be allowed to come home after midnight 48 hours before the start of the match. And Xavi has also prohibited risky hobbies such as surfing. Xavi had his first training session at the head of Barcelona, and it turned out to be very unusual. Particular attention was drawn to the reaction game exercise. The players were divided into pairs, and their task was to hit the opponent on the palms from above. Whoever makes it 10 times wins the game while his opponent is killed, which means he is eliminated. The winners are divided into two teams and play football. Online users have already called this mini-game the Squid Game. Everyone who watched the popular Netflix series will understand what it means. It's getting more and more interesting to observe Chavez's work at Barca. That is it for today, friends. Make sure to check out the suggested videos from our other channels. We bet you'll like that stuff too. And that was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.